So what's up, what's happening? It's been a minute. I'm gonna be showing you how to do that TikTok. You know, up and down bed trick. So yeah, it's really simple. We need a tripod and a camera. So I got the camera over there and where I'm gonna shoot over there. So step one, you wanna record yourself falling backwards and falling forwards. You can do this absolutely anywhere, but I did it on a bed. Why? Because of the soft landing, it wouldn't, it wouldn't hurt. So some people could do it on grass and it can work. It can work, but it will hurt. You stand at one point of the bed and then you simply just fall forward. You have to face plant the bed and have to brave it. Otherwise the effect can look a little bit dodgy. Once you face plant the other side, you wanna wake up as I'm doing here and stand exactly in the place where your face landed. So stand at that point and uh, basically fall backwards and um, that's it, that's all you need to do for filming. So step two of this tutorial is dragging it into the post-production. So drag that full clip into Final Cut Pro. You wanna cut before you start falling, just before, maybe a frame before you start inclining. And then you also wanna cut the frame off the impact. And it has to be impact, not when you're about to impact, but it has to be, it has to be. You then pretty much want to put those clips in order. So you want to put the one where I'm falling forward into the bed, falling forward first, right? So forward first. Then you want to do the other one where I'm falling backwards. Next, uh, the second clip, you want to reverse it. So go on the retime button and reverse that clip so that when I fall forward, it's me getting up instead of me falling backwards. You then want to go onto the first clip and speed ramp the ending. So just speed ramp the ending of the first clip and then also make a speed ramp on the starting of the next clip so that first 35 degrees coming up quite fast. Vroom, it's like I'm being summoned. Now, even in this sort of clip, you can see that my legs are bending, but it still works. But if it was straight, it would be the best one because I like, can robotically summoned up. And then just to finish it off, you want to use motion blur, which you can get down below for absolute peanuts. By peanuts, I mean free. After you add the motion blur and the speed, speed ramps, you then just make that a compound clip. After you make it a compound clip, uh, duplicate that compound clip so that each of the compound clips sit adjacent to each other. Then make the second compound clip uh, reverse. The reason why we're reversing the second compound clip is so that it loops. When you put it onto Instagram, TikTok, it plays all the way through, then re re reverses. And then when it reaches the end, it loops. So it looks like there's no end or start. What you can then do is play around with the speed of both sort of clip. And boom, that's it. That's how you create that effect. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe. And to get the free plugins that's below, I have a promotion that I'm doing on a plugin. If you type in Joseph creates as a code onto my crop reflect effect, you get it for 50% off. So check it down below, see if you're interested. It really helps out my channel when people buy my plugins. So if you can, it'll be nice, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, peace.